Father, we stand here now in the gap for Ethan and for Jamarian's brother. We are joining hands in that circle, God, in intercessory prayer, asking God that you do a mighty move right now, God. We know that the devil is not happy that we are here because we're here to praise you. We're here to glorify your name, God. We're here to say thank you. You know, God, and the devil knows that we did not come here to ask for anything. We just came here to say thank you, God. We know that you love us, God. We know that you are in control. We know that you knew before this event even happened that this was going to happen, God. And so we know that you are well in control to make sure that everything goes according to your plan, God. Right now, as we stand in the gap for Ethan and Jamarian's brother, we ask right now, God, that you touch the doctors, that you touch the nurses, the anesthesiologists, everyone who comes in contact with them, God. We yes. pray that you give them the wisdom, God, to do what needs to be done. We pray, God, that you give them the knowledge that they need to do what they need to do, God. We pray right now that you heal whatever needs to be healed. We pray right now, God, that your presence be in this place. As we give you as we give you the word, we give you the word, as we give you the word, we give you the word, Suzette, 
God's evangelist, my friend, and the visionar of this program tonight. I met her at the end of 2009, going into 2010, passed it on to her. And upon our meeting, I remember the words she said. She said, if God wrote it, he will publish it. Amen. 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 I can truly say God is faithful. He has done great things. With God, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. I will now read one of the prayers from the new, my new book, A Whispered Prayer. Each prayer has a little title. And the one I will read tonight is titled Rejoice, Pray, and Give Thanks. I pray that you are encouraged tonight. Amen. Would you bow as I read this prayer? This prayer is titled, Rejoice, Pray, and Give Thanks. Father God, when my joy seems to fade away, or if I'm slothful in praying, and I have not completely given thanks at all that you do for me and my family, I pray that you will remind me to rejoice, pray, and give thanks, no matter what the situation may be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the prayer came from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Hallelujah. I would like to encourage you tonight from the NLT, the New, Trans, the New Living Translation Version. Always be joyful in the Lord. Never stop praying. Hallelujah. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus, who belong to Jesus in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep yeah. praying and giving thanks. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I've had some hills to climb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had some weary days.
didn't know my own strength. So at my darkest hour, my faith kept me alive. I picked myself back up, hold my head up high. I was not meant to break. I didn't know my own strength. Yes, Jesus. Oh. Open right. my heart. Yes, Lord. I found the light of life. My way out of all that I need here inside of me. I thought I'd never find my way. Come on, come on. I thought I'd never live that way. Yes. I thought I would pray. I didn't know my own story. So yes. I crashed down and I tumbled. But I did not crumble. Come on. I got through all the pain. Yeah. I didn't know my own strength. So by my darkest hour, my faith kept me alive. Yeah. I picked myself back up, hold my head up high. I was not meant to break. I didn't know my own strength. Oh. Open my heart. Yes, I found the light to light my way out of the dark. All that I need here inside of me. I thought I'd never live that way. I thought I'd never live that way. So I crashed down and I tumbled, but I did not crumble. I got through all the pain. I didn't know my own story. So by my darkest hour, my faith kept me alive. I picked myself back up, hold my head up high. I was not meant to break. I didn't know my own there were so many times I wonder how I got through the night I thought I took all that I could take yes. Yes. I didn't know my own strength So I crashed down and I tumbled But I did not crumble I got through all the pain I didn't know my own story there were so many times I wonder how I got through the night. I thought I took all that I could take. I didn't know my own story. So I crashed down and I tumbled. But I did not crumble. I got through all the pain. I didn't know my own story. Was not built to break. Hallelujah, glory. <laughs> She has said that I um, say to people that she's my publisher, but she is my publisher, but she has become my friend over the five years um, that I have known her. Uh, she's God's evangelist, and she's the same person that I met in 2009, going into 2010. She's the same. She never changed. That's just like God. Amen. And I love you so much, and thank you for your patience. And just thank you for being who you are in God. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> to um, let you all know um, also, and also I would like to thank um, each and every one that came out to support me. Um, new friends over there at the first table. Yes. 
new friends and friends and families and church family. Just thank you all so much for coming out and supporting everybody that support this uh, event. And I would like to say about the book, um, the dedication to a whispered prayer. Um, I dedicate this book. Um, this book will. Um, will help to meet the needs of children and families in our community, cities, states, and across the nation uh, while sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ to ensure them that there is hope and their hope is in the Lord. Amen. And the scripture that goes with that, because God always gives me a scripture to go with each little phrase of prayer. Um, Jeremiah 17 and 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and who hopes is in the Lord. Amen. So I pray that you all support. God bless you and continue to enjoy tonight. Praise God. Good evening, everyone. For some whom I haven't gotten a chance to meet, I am Suzette Morgan, I'm the publisher. A lot of people just say the publisher. That's my publisher, as Ms. Yolanda would say. I am the president of Farmore Group Incorporated, a publishing, recording, and production company here in Orlando. And then, of course, the president of Farmore Entertainment. But I humbly want to take an opportunity just to come before you um, as these young ladies minister. If you listen to the name of their group, it's Grateful Praise. Grateful. There, we, there's a phrase that we say every Sunday at church at Divine Way Ministries where my pastor is the Reverend Dr. Frank S. Smith is, Lord, it's a prayer, our invocation. Lord, help us to be appreciative people. And how many know when you ask God to help you to be appreciative, you're going to go through some, some things to really learn to appreciate things that come your way. And I just want to say God is faithful. Our scripture that we stand on is all things. The good, the bad, the indifferent, all things work together for good. Amen? To those who what? Loved God and are according to his purpose. And I just want to say, you know, we never know how God will orchestrate different things. And this is all about how, this is God's goodness. But each one of you who are here today, you were divinely appointed to be here. And I just want to, especially with that song, Greater is Coming, um, as we stand seven years later, how many know what seven represents? Completion, perfection. Completion, perfection. And this journey started 70 years ago for the nonprofit on 888. We were celebrating a one year anniversary of a book called Honey for the Soul. This is the season at the Maitland Civic Center. Anybody here that was at that event? The two that became our board members, Lamaya Henry, Miss Attorney, Lamaya Henry, can you please stand up the Henry Law Firm? And then who is also a West Orange grad. Can I have the West Orange grads to please stand for a moment? A lot of these young ladies I had not seen since 25 years ago, God is good, right? 25 years ago, but just to show you the goodness of God, and then I do want you to be able to support the vendors who are here. Twilight and I connected over Facebook, and I know we hear some negative things about Facebook, but when well, what the devil meant for evil, God had turned around for good. There are connections, divine appointments, and we connected via a project that she had done, and she was looking for a publisher. And it was just interesting, the day she called me, she said, I'm going to minister at a church that evening. But when I woke up that morning, the song that was in my spirit was, you deserve the glory. Now, all I can tell you is I'm writing book two of a book called Living Testimonies that I wrote 10 years ago. And book two is gonna open and say, thank God, I don't look like what I've been through, okay? Thank God I don't look like what I've been through. So I just kept hearing, you deserve the glory. And that same night, I spoke with Twyla, and I said, well, Twyla, just out of curiosity, because how many know God will set you up? Anybody ever been? Uh, okay, nobody's been set up yet, okay. God will set you up. And in speaking with Twyla the same morning, she said she was going to minister, and I said, well, what song, just out of curiosity, are you gonna sing tonight? And guess what song she said? You deserve the glory. Amen? 
I was invited by Sister Brenda Williams of New Bethel AME Church for their singles ministry, 10 year anniversary milestone. She invited me to come and officiate that service. And that same morning, the enemy tried to come at me in trying to make me look at my now and what was happening and some things in my situation. And it was just like, I had to, how many that you gotta dust it off, what the young people say? Is it still dusting off, flash it off, do whatever you got to do, but don't receive that because you're, now your current state doesn't define where you're going and what God has for you. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, greater is coming. Anybody, can somebody say greater is coming? And that was a month ago. I heard the Holy Spirit say that on my way to New Bethel AME. And I remember sitting on that pulpit and I introduced the dance. Yeah. Have you been blessed this day? Amen. Come on, talk to me. Have you been blessed? Hallelujah. Amen. What a blessed time we've had. And what, what a great way to end uh, thinking and hearing about a new chapter, a new journey. Amen. And so my task tonight is uh, to invite you uh, to experience that new chapter, new journey. Amen. And so if you're here tonight and you say, Preacher, I, uh, I'm, I'm one who's never uh, started on that journey. Can I? Can I tell you that will be the greatest and best decision you'll ever make in your life. And uh, because uh, you've been hearing folk talk for a while, I want y'all to talk to each other. So everybody look at somebody and find out whether or not they have a saving relationship with Jesus. Go ahead and talk to your neighbor. Now listen, listen to me. Don't look, at, don't look and say, you know I'm saved. No, let them, let them ask you anyhow. Because the greatest thing you can do today is affirm your salvation. How many saved folk in the house tonight? Amen, amen. Well, you ought to praise God for that. Praise God for that. Let me say this last thing to you. Because how unfortunate it'd be if we experience a great night like we've experienced tonight and yet not go toward the greater that God is calling us to. You've heard it in dance or seen it in dance you've heard it spoken in the poems and at the, at the last thing we just heard is that we can have a new chapter a new journey and no matter how long you've been walking with the lord no matter how great things have been for you i want to pray tonight i know you, you've come to eat and the food was good and you've come to hear and meet the new authors and that was great uh, but i want us to pray tonight that god will help to usher us to that new place that he has destined. We want to go to that place that God has in store for us. And so if you'll just bow with me, I uh, hope that's fine. And we're going to have a word of prayer that God will uh, not only uh, bless each of us individually, but bless this ministry. I'm glad you said, uh, Evangelist Morgan, uh, that this is year seven. And year seven means the year of completion and year perfection. Uh, thank God that if he gives enough grace, you'll make it to year eight. And year eight stands for the year of new beginnings. Uh, that greater is ahead. That God has more in store uh, for you and for this ministry. And so let's pray and ask God to bless uh, us individually and us collectively. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing of this night. Thank, thank you, God, for allowing us to gather together. And Lord, we pray now in the name of Jesus. Uh, that since you have deposited in us uh, things tonight that only you, you could have known to deposit in us. But thank you, Lord, for these prayers offered from a whispered prayer. God, thank you for these poems offered from uh, the book, God, that gives us great encouragement, that tells us about a new journey uh, and a new beginning. God, I pray now in the name of Jesus, God, that you would do something in each of us individually that will cause us, Lord, never to be the same because we have gathered in this place tonight. And so, God, is my sincere prayer in the name of Jesus that your hand of blessing and anointing would rest on every person under the sound of my voice. God, thank you, Lord, that no matter how good or how bad the days have been, thank you, God, that where you're ushering us to is going to be greater than what we have ever experienced before. And so, God, we thank you that our best years are still ahead of us. Thank you, God, that our best days are yet ahead of us. And God, that what you're doing in our lives will be in such a way, it be in such a way that at the end of it all, we must give you glory for what you have done. God, thank you for Evangelist Morgan. 
God, thank you for the anointing that rests on her life. God, thank you for using her in ways that she doesn't even understand or know already, God. And we just thank you that the best is still yet to come. So, God, as you usher her from year seven to year eight, God, we pray that the new beginnings will be one that will blow her mind. Thank you for new doors that you're opening. Thank you for new terrain you're causing her to walk on, God. Thank you for new businesses, business ideas, and new streams of income, God. Thank you for new revenue that you're bringing her way so that she might be able to bless others, God. Thank you for what you're doing in her life. Now, God, thank you that when you bless her, all of us are better because of it. And so, God, we just thank you for this night. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you that you give us the opportunity to embrace that a better day is coming. And so by faith, we thank you for it. We, as an extension of our faith, we say thank you in advance for what you've already begun to set in motion. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for all things. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Let the church say amen. amen.